is Shan Sharma and in this video I will show you how you can scrape useful data from e-commerce website like Amazon and Flipkart. Also I will create email alert system that sends user an email whenever the price of a product drops. But first we need to install two packages beautiful soup 4 and request. So I will first install them. It is showing me requirement already satisfied but in your case it will get installed. Then I will install request. Now we will proceed. Here I have created two python files amazon tracker.py and email alert.py. Email alert.py will be used to send email to the user. But for the time being, we are concerned with Amazon Tracker.py. So first, we will import request. Then from BS4, I will import Beautiful Soup. After that, I will create a URL variable that will store the URL of the selected product. For this tutorial, I have selected this Bluetooth earphones. I will copy the URL of this earphones. And paste it here. After that, I will create the headers variable. Now I will paste the header code. This code will be in description. This variable will be used to tell the server in which manner we want the data. Then I will create the variable set underscore price. And set the value at which or below which I want to buy the product. After that I will create the function check price. and create the page variable request dot get and pass URL and headers after that I will create the soup object and pass in page dot content an HTML parser. So this is the selected product. We are mainly concerned with the title and the price. To get the title and the price we first need to know the tags associated with these elements. For that I will press F12 and select this option here. So I will hover over the title and click on it. Here you can see that the title is within the span and the ID is product title. Next we will check the price. The price is within this span and the ID is price block underscore R price. Now I will first try to get the title. and print it now let's run the code and check
you can see that we have grabbed the title but there is unnecessary white space here we can get rid of the white space now I will create another variable named product underscore price and make that equal to string title and then product price equal to product price dot strip this will strip extra white space from the beginning and the ending of the title now let's print You can see that the extra space has been removed. Actually, I have made a small mistake. I should not name it as product price, but product title. Now let's grab the price I will copy the ID from here and paste it Let's print the price. Now I will run the code. So we have successfully grabbed the title and the price. But there is still a problem. The price here is in string, but we want it in float. For that I need to do few changes. I will create a string variable product price. And set it equal to an empty string. After that I will create a for loop. For letters. In price. If letters. Dot is numeric. or letters equal to equal to period then I will add letters to the product price string After that, I will print the product price variable as a float. Now I will run the code. Here the price is in float. So now I will move to the email alert system. Here in the email alert.py, I will paste a code. And by the way, if you don't know how to send email using Python, I have already created a video on that subject. The link will appear in the i button. So basically, this is the function alert underscore system, and it accepts two parameters product and link. So basically, it sends email to the given email address here, and the message will contain hey, price of the product name dropped and the link will be there for the user to click now let's import this function
so I have imported the function and now I will create a if condition if float product price is less than or equal to the set price we will receive the email if the price of the product is less than the set price by the user then the user will receive an email alert system and I will pass in the product name and link I will also print a message sent and in the else condition I will print note sent so now let's run the code you can see that the message note sent has appeared because the price of the product is not less than the set price by us but you can see that our logic is working here but let's check the system by changing the value of the set price to something more than the product price like 2000 now let's run the code you can see that we have sent the email now let's check the email so here we can see that the email has arrived and here is the product name and the link now I will add a timer that will run this function after every one minute for that we need to import timer from threading Within this function, I will write the timer method and mention the seconds after which the function will run and enter the function name and type dot start. Also, I will put back the set price variable here. and type return here so whenever the product price is less than the set price by us the function will stop running and whenever the price is not equal to the set price the function will run after every 60 seconds or one minute so this wraps up the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe